So, how to download and install iOS 14 onto your own iPhone. I'm going to show you how right after this. So for all the latest tech news, gaming news and reviews and comparisons, don't forget to press subscribe and don't forget to press that bell. So then guys, the public beta of iOS 14 is now available. So yes, that's right. You can download iOS 14 right now to your compatible iPhone. Now, before I start with this video, you must forgive me. I have a bit of a cold right now. That's why I have a bit of a red eye. And also because of the current pandemic in the world right now, um, I haven't had a haircut yet, as you can probably tell. So that's why I look a bit like a mad professor at the moment. But you must forgive me on that. So first of all, what you guys need to do is you need to get to the Apple website and get to the public beta um, page of iOS 14. I've linked that down below in the description or what you can do is you can Google it, what I'm going to show you in a minute. So let's get started with downloading iOS 14 onto your iPhone. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install iOS 14, the public beta version one onto an iPhone. This is an iPhone 8 I have here, but you can use any iPhone that you have what is supported. So this is any iPhone from the 6S um, to SE, the original SE, all the way up to the 11 series that are available right now. So what we want to do is open up Safari. And what we want to do is I'm just going to do a quick search of public beta iOS 14. And there we go, it's the first tab we've got right here. So I'm just gonna select that. What we wanna do is scroll down and you want to sign up if you don't have an Apple ID or you've not signed up before, or you want to click sign in. So I'm gonna click sign in because I do have an ID. So I'm just gonna use my touch ID to log in. And that's it. And then basically it tells you all the different versions. So I'm going to enroll my device. It's telling me that I need to do a backup and everything like that, but I'm ready, I'm okay. This is not my main primary phone, so I'm gonna do a download. But do make sure you do do a backup first of all your data on your iPhone before you go ahead with this. I'm gonna click allow on that. It's gonna download the profile. Now that profile, is now in settings. So what I need to do is I need to go to settings. So oh, I'm just gonna go to my little clock here. And then the next step I'm gonna do is the profile downloaded. And then what I need to do, I can click install. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly type in my code. I'm just gonna hide this a second from you guys. So there we go. And then you've got your terms and conditions. What we want to do is click install, agree to the installation. There we go down the bottom. And what we want to do, we want to click done. After that, come back out of general. And now we want to go to software update. And voila, as you can see here, iOS 14 public beta 2 ready to download. So I'm going to click download and install. I'm going to put my code in one more time. And there we go, it's starting to download. So obviously, as you can imagine, I don't want to hold my phone all the way to the end here while this is downloading, especially it's a couple of gigs big. So once this download has completed, what will happen is it will give me the ability to say, install now, what I will show you, or if I remember correctly, it might just actually just try to install public beta all by itself. Either way, I'm just going to let this run. So we now have iOS 14 public beta 2 ready to install. So all you just need to do is click install now. It just verifies the update and the phone will just power off now in a second. And then it will begin to install iOS 14 public beta.
So I'm just going to let this install now. I'm just going to leave this run. And there we go, we have installed iOS 14 public beta. I'm just going to just pick this up again and put my code in and I'll reshow you the screen again. So after you put in your code, you'll be presented with this. So you just got to click continue, agree to the terms and conditions and again. And then we just want to click continue one more time. Oh no, so I didn't notice up the top there was a logo there. I'm going to set up Apple Pay later. I'm doing my watch later as well. It does take a few seconds to respond as you can see up here. Continue with the phone analytics and I'm not going to share them at this time. And I'm going to continue with everything the way it was. And there we go. First of all, we have our main screen. So we're just going to check first of all if we actually have iOS 14 public beta. So I'm just going to go to the settings. It's telling me to finish off everything there. I'm just going to go to general, about, and there we go. We've got iOS 14 on here. So I'm going to come out of there, come back. So let's have a bit of a play. Let's see if we can get a widget. So I'm just going to hold my finger down on the screen. Click on the plus up here. And look at that. We've got the different bits and pieces. So first of all, I'm going to add a maps one so i can change the size and how i want it i think i'll just have that one actually so i'm just going to add that on on voila that is there now and there we go that's where i'm living right now so it can see that and if i click into that look at that opens up the maps so that is absolutely fantastic let's see if we can add another widget on so i'm going to click the plus again uh, let's see what we have here I would like this time to show the weather. So I think I'm going to have a little, oh, I don't want full details. But I'm just gonna have the little one there. So I'm gonna add that widget on. And I'm gonna move him down into my corner down here. Sadly though, you can't drop icons where you want them, but you could move widgets around to make it more organized. But that seems absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna click on that. I'm just going to wait for that weather just to load. I might just have to open it up. It's trying to find the weather. Probably because I don't have a SIM card in it, so it's probably not picking up the GPS right now at the second. But we do. Oh, there we go. It's worked it out now. I had to figure it out via Wi Fi instead. So I've got that widget now as well. So there are loads of other bits and pieces that we can fiddle around with. We can change now the default apps as well at the same time, but I'm not going to leave that. It was just to show you guys how to install iOS 14 onto an iPhone. So like I said, guys, what I will do is I've left a description down below for you guys to get the iOS 14 onto your iPhone. And as you can see, it is really, really simple to do. However, though, I wouldn't install the current beta on your primary iPhone unless you just want to have a bit of a mess around. If you want to use it as your primary driver phone with iOS 14, it's not quite there yet. So I'd wait for a few more betas to come, like say around about August time. Um, that's when I'd probably say you could actually install a beta what you could actually use. And there we have it guys, that is how easy it is to install iOS 14 onto your own iPhone. So like I said here, I have an iPhone 8, but you can do this on any iPhone from the iPhone 6S and the original SE 
all the way up to the iPhone 11 and also the new iPhone SE as well. Well guys, it is time for me to sign off now. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do press like. At the same time as well, please do subscribe to this channel to hear the latest gaming news, the latest tech news, reviews and comparisons. Until next time guys, I will see you soon. Bye bye.